My name is Dr. Rick Segill. I'm and action. Hey, uh, Jay, how did you? This is Kirk to them. You would think that rock climbing is not that exhausting, but it is because you're shifting a lot of your training to upper body. And if you wanted to really challenge your strength, especially explosive strength, there's something that's called a dyno. It's when you kind of skip over and do an explosive move to a next handhold. There's a handhold I'm going to show you right above me. And it's up there. I'm going to try to jump up to it by swinging. So usually it just requires just going up and down and then, and then popping up. So I know, I mean, that's a mini dyno, but it's kind of exciting. And also the explosiveness is almost like a plyometric exercise. So if you're really stiff or getting your forearms blasted because of all the climbing that you haven't done in a while, sometimes the dynos will force a little bit of lactic acid and muscle stiffness away. Try to do another one. Yeah, I just like doing these because nothing else to do. So up here, this is the ceiling for vertical endeavors. That's how it looks down below. I'm gonna let go. So this is the ride going down. And so the auto belay really drops you off very slowly. You have nothing to worry about. It's about 30 feet up above. And I came down really slow. And the heavier you are, the slower it goes.